Hello everybody, my name is Dawn Campbell, the director of IAPCNM, and today I'm here with what I tend to call her is the happiness coach. It's Maria Hocking. Hello, Maria. Hello. What's your official title? Um, I go under the name UK Life Changer normally because I change lives primarily in the UK. Um, yeah. but also have clients sort of globally as well, but that's where most of my work tends to to be yeah and yeah I change lives so yeah good so tell us a little bit about your story you change other people's lives what's changed in your life that's brought you to this point of being a coach and an author okay so I have been through some significant adversity like many coaches I guess um I spent 14 years completely bald with no hair um was diagnosed with alopecia after the birth of my second child so um lost me lost myself but then rediscovered myself worked hard to do that and then found another level of happiness as a result. Then I went through some other significant challenges, pretty significant challenges, which um, knocked me back down again, but I rebuilt again and again. And what I came to realize is that no matter what we go through in life, there are gifts to be found in every personal challenge or every adversity. And so myself having been armed with this wealth of knowledge about personal transformation, um, I became obsessed with sort of helping other people and I knew that it was possible for anybody to recover from absolutely anything and live an exceptional life. And that is what started um, my drive to be a coach. And that is still what propels me to this day. Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. So I know that you're an author of your own books, but this is the first time you've contributed to a co-authored book. Uh, and it's our yes. first book. Uh, it's the first book that the IAP CNM have put out, How to Win Clients and Keep Them, which is a really yep. hot topic so what made you contribute to that then Maria because I'm really passionate about people like super super passionate about people and um, I also do some business coaching and I have seen um, businesses and I have witnessed other coaches so coaches starting out or coaches trying to get clients and I see the pitfalls that people face if that makes sense mm -hmm. and you know there's so much hype about them having the right website and having I don't know, the right, um, I don't know, business card, all that sort of thing to get your business going and to bring clients in. But, you know, that really is important, but it doesn't matter as much as people. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to contribute to this book because I really feel um, that at the middle, of, at the centre of every business, and the way that you win clients and keep them forever is to actually win hearts, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And I believe that a strong foundation of my own business personally has been connecting with people, has been caring about people, has been being compassionate, has been literally going from my heart, you know, and actually truly believing in people and their potential. Um, and kindness as well. Kindness is a supremely important part of my work. And I think that if you've got that as a coach, if you've got all of those things, then you have all that you need. The rest can be learned or you can outsource. But you know, people buy people. And I think if you are true to yourself and you excel at what you do and you make really strong connections and people remember you just for being authentic and true, then you will win clients. And I really, really wanted to get that message across, sort of peel away all the other stuff and get down really to the core of what makes a business successful and what makes people win clients. Mm. Yeah, I can really resonate with that. I used to work in uh, recruitment and, um, uh, Mr. Reed, the organization that I work for, um, used to say that, um, you know, you can learn a lot of skills, yeah. but you can't learn personality, attitude, Absolutely. kindness, compassion. You had it in you or you just didn't. Exactly. Uh, and it's yeah. something along those lines. And it's kind of similar to what you're saying, isn't it? Absolutely. You know, and I think if we go everywhere, you know, from our heart and our head's got to have some some um obviously some what's the word um or lead from the heart and the and i believe your head will follow and give yeah. you all the reasonings that you need and help you along the way if we go from our heart and really care and truly truly care about people in general and we give we give to communities we give you know because we want to then clients will come they will come because they will see what you're all about they will see how passionate you are and how much you care and yeah. um it's 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 the core of my business has been heartfelt relationships. Mm -hmm. And from that, so many opportunities have grown. And I think mm -hmm. that as coaches starting out or as solopreneurs, people often forget how important that part is. So that is why I wanted to contribute to this book in that way. 
And I know you talk about it uh, as being every single person that you meet, uh, not just when you put your coaching hat on and say, right, uh, because, you know, we need to network like an Olympian, but you Absolutely. take it to the full extreme, you know, you know, if you're sat next to somebody on a bus or in a queue Absolutely. in front of somebody, you treat everybody like this. Yeah. Absolutely. No matter who they are or where they've come from, you treat everybody the same. And it's about showing, there's, there's a chapter in the book about attentiveness. It's about being attentive, noticing people, you know, and seeking those opportunities for conversation, not specifically to win clients in that moment, but just to make those connections because you never know what will come of a conversation. You know, I've had so many business opportunities and my business has grown through single conversations often with random strangers in bizarre places, like on a train or on a plane or at an airport. Um, you know, great opportunities have come and my business has flourished just because I have been open to new conversation. I've cared about people. I've been compassionate and I, I see where those opportunities lie. Yeah. And I think that's a very important point as well, Maria, because if you do it from a place of I want to make money, I want to convert this person to a client, they can smell that sort of desperation. Absolutely. Uh, it's not authentic at all. No, not at all. And I think that's when you when it becomes part of who you are, um, you just do it all of the time anyway. So, you know, many people you meet, maybe they'll just be a, a passing conversation with a stranger. But there'll just be that one little gem now and again that you, you see within them, they could benefit from your services. Um, but, it, but like you say, it's not about that. It's just about being authentic all of the time, um, just sharing your knowledge with people, you know, and sharing what you know to help others. And um, yeah, success follows after that. Yeah, it's yeah. about being a giver, isn't it? Absolutely. So I think Absolutely. we've got a really strong flavour of what we can expect in your chapter in the book yes. of how to win clients and keep them. Uh, yes. And I guess that's a fundamental part of it. If you look after people and yeah. treat people like that, then why would they stay with you for life uh, and Absolutely. keep coming back? So what were some of the challenges then or inner work or learnings that you did uh, and yeah. went through as a process of writing a co-authored book? Because it's quite unusual, isn't it? Absolutely, it is. And it's, it's not, I mean, it's, a, it's not something I've really thought about in that much depth before, you know, and how did I actually create my business? How did I win clients? Because my business has kind of grown over the last 13 years without me even realizing it, you know, I went from no clients to a few clients and now I've got a waiting list for clients constantly. And it was the first time that I really looked back and actually thought, what was my strategy? How did that actually happen? What did I do? that made my business a success because I do see a lot of coaches struggling for clients, you know, and I'm thinking it made me really take a step back and um, appreciate maybe the steps that I'd taken, appreciate that all the hard work had been worth it, mm -hmm. but also it made me realize there were specific things that I did along the way without even realizing it mm -hmm. that were very valuable in creating my business. So for me, it was, I wouldn't say it was, there were many challenges, but it was about a whole new world opening up and actually realizing that there are certain things that you can do to build and grow your business and to win and keep clients and um yeah it was the first time i've really gone through that and looked at that and kind of analyzed it and and realized that anybody can actually do this anybody can build their business with the right tools and the right techniques and you've shared how readers can mirror that absolutely absolutely mm -hmm. so what i did i applied my own strategy um to this book and my chapter is all about um, how I achieved success and the things that I did, you know, the exact things that I did to get my business to where it is today, you know, coaching practice, brimming with clients constantly. Um, and yeah, there are four significant things that I did within that book, um, which obviously readers will benefit from when they read it. Um, but yeah, it comes from, it all comes from my heart. It all comes from me being truly passionate about what I do and truly believing that, you know, we, we all have the ability to win and keep clients. We really, really do. And, um, and it almost goes further than that for me because it's about, it's not about the winning and keeping clients is important. Absolutely. And that's the whole point of the book, but it's about what we can offer the world as a result of that. You know, it's about the big picture and that, and kind of writing the book made me realize that as well, that, you know, we're all coming together to contribute towards this book to make the world an even better place because people will read the book, they will change what they're doing as a result, they'll win more clients, they'll help more people. So it was, yeah, it was a really big eye-opening exercise actually to write my chapters and all come together with the other authors. 
It's a good pay it forward exercise for all of us, I thought. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. A thoroughly yeah. enjoyable process, yeah. Good. So what's next in, in uh, Maria's life uh, and her clients' lives then? Wow, well, it's super exciting. I've got um, a retreat planned next year in Sweden called Fire and Ice. So Ooh. I'll be taking some people out there next year to experience temperatures like minus 20. Um, yeah, uh, and <laughs> sort of like living in a, a little log cabin for a week, no electricity, no running water. Um, so I'm really super excited about that. So that's yeah. next year. So, um, and I'm also writing another book, another of my own books. Um, mm -hmm. so that's really, really good. And good. apart from that, I'm just going to keep coaching. I'm going to keep speaking. I'm going to keep writing. And um, yeah, keep making life. a difference. Yeah, absolutely. Keep making a difference, yes. So where can people find you, Maria, and about what you've got on offer? I know you're obviously on the um, IAPCNM accredited directory, but what's your other primary uh, link? Yeah, my website. Um, so it's www.mariahocking.com. Um, you can find me there. You can find details about everything that I do. Um, more about me as well and yeah that's where most people tend to find me okay lovely nice to meet you again okay thank you very much good luck bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.